Good afternoon, guys. We are in Phu Quoc right now. This is the largest island in Vietnam. And today we're actually on our way to Long Beach and we're gonna take you guys to a special little place. And we haven't even really seen the main town here. So I think we're gonna get on a bike and we're gonna go do that today. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and we can't wait to show you guys our little area. It's absolutely beautiful. We're staying at the uh, Miana Resort and funny story, we actually found, I'm like walking right now so I'm trying not to trip as I walk. There's a bunch of steps, but it's so pretty. There's like a bunch of jungle. We found a tarantula. Pretty sure it was a tarantula in our shower. So if you're not about wildlife, and you want to stay here maybe uh reconsider that but it was fine not actually so as we walk down this long pathway to the roadway it's really nice because we came from ho chi minh and it's been super noisy from the street noise so this place is actually kind of far back off the street just enough that you don't hear any of the motorbikes at night and it's your own little piece of paradise you know it's nice too you have your little fruit stand coffee lady <laughs> hi <laughs> Always honking. Always honking. So many honks. <laughs> Even when you're out of the way, I was just like <laughs> off to the side. Me, me. So many honks. Well, here we go. It's right from our resort that we're staying at. It's only a few minute walk right to the beach access, isn't it? Maybe five. Yeah, maybe about five. Minutes. Maybe five. Yeah, but it's um, it's not too far. We're staying at a really good location. Have you ever seen a coconut that big? These are huge. <laughs> Look at these. Hey, look at my hands. I know, that's crazy. That's massive. Oh my Those gosh. Those things are ridiculous. Ah. So when you walk out of a resort and you turn to the right and you go down this street, um, this street livens up at night. A bunch of sellers come out and they sell all kinds of fresh seafood. Haven't yet partaken in that, but I kind of want to <laughs> at some point. I found my Bon Me lady back then. Yeah, Chase just obviously lives off Bon Me's all the time. 20,000 delicious <laughs> meat Bon Me. Yeah, she's like, uh, what's her name? It's called Tram Tram. Some if you look it up on Google, she literally has the best Bon Me's. <laughs> why? 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 <laughs> Like, I feel like I'm so in the clear and it scares the shit out of me. It scares the life out of me. Oh my goodness. But I get that they do it when they're going through intersections, but I... Just Vietnam is the one place, the one country, where I could probably get startled the most. Like, I, I have, like, at least five heart attacks every day. We've arrived at the walkway to get down to the beach. There's another one if you go left, which might be a little closer, but our secret spot's to the right of our place. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> So nice. <laughs> a lot of people also said, well, what I've read online is Sao Beach apparently is like one of the most beautiful beaches. But then I also read that there's like a ton of trash. So we're contemplating going to that one on our journey. But honestly, the beach that's right near our, our accommodation is absolutely beautiful, Long Beach. So I'm like, you know, when you have such a good beach, you don't need to go to a different one in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, all, I definitely agree. <laughs> and the really cool thing about this beach, I've only witnessed it once before in our travels, and it was in Da Nang. You step on the sand and it makes a weird noise. Squeaky. Yeah, it like <laughs> squeaks with your bare feet. It has to be the dry sand, not the wet sand though. It's a very, very unique experience. Yeah. Well, look at it coming up. Wow. Oh. <laughs> when we first came down here, we're like, wow. But then it's so funny because we came down here and we're like, there's no sand. Like, what? what is, is there no sand here? Uh, but then you they, just walk. They've definitely made like a little concrete landing. I don't know, yeah. stairs and landing here yeah. for the public beach access. Yeah, I was a little like, oh, I, there's no sand. But then you walk over there, it's like beautiful sand. Yeah, you just got to go in front of the resorts, but a lot of the resorts don't want you going through them anymore. So you just go through here and you can uh, walk right down to the beach. Guys, we've made it to this <laughs> special area. So this little guy is set up right in the corner, right when you come down, and he sells like really cheap beer and coconuts, and you can just like hang out on his little chairs, and you can, there's two people over there getting, <laughs> I think asking about a drink right now. Yeah. And when you go further down, obviously there's like the nice restaurants and beach, like beach clubs and stuff like that, yeah. um, which higher prices, but this little guy, he's just set up right on the corner. It's nice and peaceful over here. It's quiet, there's no music, so. That's why we wanted to show you guys this little spot. Yes. <laughs> I definitely chilled out with him the other day while Shelby got a beach massage. Yeah, so nice. Which by the way, yes, this beach has beach massages and all that stuff if oh. you're looking. Yes, it's got it's got everything, honestly. <laughs> and he's uh, cracking some coconuts for 
two other people right now. So we're gonna. Hello. Hi. <laughs> what? Yes. yes. He's got a sign right here. I'm going for a Saigon. What are you going for, Shelb? What am I going for, Chase? I bet you can guess. <laughs> Coconut, of course. Yeah. <laughs> And these ones are humongous as well. I don't know what it is with this island and their humongous coconuts. Yeah, Chase loves the big coconuts. Like when you get the coconuts, he loves the big ones. Yeah. But I actually most often like the smaller ones because the smaller ones are so much sweeter. Once they get bigger, they lose that sweetness. But honestly, it's still still good. It's still a coconut. Yeah. Like, look at this. Like, look at this. <laughs> Just, like, Fuqua is like, it's just beautiful. Like right near the water. It's just. I contemplating coming to this island because I've been scared of flying lately. I've been not doing good on flights, like not good at all. Like severe flying anxiety, but I'm so glad that we made the choice to come here. And it's really interesting like standing here because there's not many islands or anything on the horizon. So it's just a totally different feeling mm -hmm. looking on the ocean when there's nothing just but nothing. little boats. It's just ocean. Yeah. It gives you such an interesting feel. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna do a coconut one. And, and I'll what? get a Saigon. Saigon. <laughs> he knows me from before. Yeah, he remember. <laughs> he likes beer. Saigon. <laughs> he was laughing. I kept saying, oh, one more, one more. Last time I was here, he's like, <laughs> Yeah, because he doesn't speak much English. Jason and him just had the silent bond happening. <laughs> it's really cool. He goes over here with this big. I'm gonna call it a sword. <laughs> sword on machete. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh wow. Very cool. Oh yes. Yeah. And then you keep it. cold too. Yes. That's important. Yeah. If I get a coconut, not very often is it warm. <laughs> very good. Mmm, -hmm. yummy. <laughs> this is very, very cool. And looking at it, I think the coconut's about one dollar American. Beer is just under one dollar, maybe eighty cents or so. Yeah. <laughs> and look in here, yeah, it's huge. So and then in here, nice frosty beverages. Oh, that's so cute! So on top, when you pick <laughs> a little hole, it's the coconut, and you yeah. just popped it right on top. <laughs> oh, what? Just one, yeah. Thank you. All right, let's pop a squash, sweetie. Oh, this is a good one. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You have your little, your little chair. Yep. <sighs> okay, lovely. So as you're walking over to what you would classify your beach paradise, this is a perfect spot to stop, chillax, have a beer, have a coconut. Yeah. So on nice. your way to <laughs> over there. Go <laughs> uh, on. And this is the view from right here. Got your feet dangling, chilling. Your feet are dangling. <laughs> Not Looks it. like they're on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Mm. Perfect spot. So he just moved over his seat a little bit so Shelby and I can get a little bit in the shade. She's, she's kind of there. It's a hot one so I'm like I need to hide a little. <laughs> also, it's not on the sign but he has fresh squeezed it's kind of like orange juice, but like dal and dan? yeah, dal and dan dal, or something. Dal and dan, dal, dal and dan. But you you can get one of those with or without ice. Yeah, it's a citrus, citrus fruit, <laughs> kind of like an orange, probably yeah. similar. It's very similar. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> very good. So, but that's not on the menu. You can get that here too. Looks like there's a bunch of other. I don't yeah. know we got oh, uh, tea. Well, the Coke's on the menu, but you can get all these different beverages here. Bye bye. 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 Thank bye. you. Thank you. All right, guess what time it is, everyone? Time to take off the flip-flops. Dun dun. Not yet. <laughs> I was walking on this barefoot yesterday. Oh my God. It is. I don't recommend oh, it, Shelbs. <laughs> oh no! Burning her little feet. All right, let's go. It is pretty hot. But here we are, nearing beach. The majestic palm tree. <laughs> and a lot of them have all the coconuts missing because the hotels don't want any guests getting knocked out. It's my guess. All right, the feet are burning. Can't admit it to Shelby though. Huh? Can't admit it to <laughs> Shelby, but my feet are. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's slippery there. Ah. Oh, I bet that looks nice. It's very nice. So, it's really cool too because, you know, you might fly into Ho Chi Minh City, spend whatever amount of time there, your eyes darting around, super busy, noisy, just fun all around. Oh, yeah. And then, not all, it's just like an hour flight away or less, and you can be right here on Phu Quoc. We have reached the sound effects and let's see if I can get it. Oh, Isn't that crazy? Push your feet like this. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me down below, have you ever been to a beach that has sound effects sand like that? I'd really like to know how many places in the world have it. I've only had this happen in Vietnam. There's something about this beach where the sand is just like a really nice golden color. It's really fine. The waves aren't crashing. Like it's, it's honestly, it's so beautiful. <laughs> and they got a lot of dedicated swimming areas around all these resorts. But like, really? I haven't seen many boats come in. Maybe like a jet ski or two and like yeah. a boat here and there, but it's not like a bunch of long tail boats in Thailand or know, you, you Thailand, know those. We love you, but the dang long tail boats <laughs> when you're on the beach is like, <laughs> you don't have that experience going on here really at cool. all. I just spotted something kind of cool. <laughs> I was walking, I was like, are those dumbbells? They look intimidating. They look so heavy. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. You look so strong. Can you do shoulder presses? Can you pick up two or no? I, do I, a, I that's pretty hard. Do a deadlift. But that, there's these. <laughs> do a deadlift. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> oh These God. though, wow. Those are actually pretty uh, pretty intense. Looks like they're made out of concrete or something. Do you want to get a little workout in on the beach? <laughs> there you go. They're there right now. There you go. I already got my workout in today. What about you, Chase? Oh, right there, yeah. One Slacker. There. Yeah, right there. <laughs> go do some more reps, come on. <laughs> so we have been walking along for, I don't know, maybe like 10 or 15 minutes. And it's a perfect little walk because you can take a loop around and go through this one resort. And this is also a sunset beach, if you guys didn't know. And this resort that we really like, well, not a resort, sorry, like a restaurant or a bar, um, has like a bunch of beach lounger chairs. And the nice thing is you don't have to pay to use them. So you just have to get a drink like every so often. And yeah, you can sit here and watch the sunset. That's what we did the other night. So if you see these little pink beanie bags, they're super cute and little pink umbrellas. Oh, it's amazing. You know you're at the right spot. <laughs> and their prices are like affordable too. They're not like oh, yeah. totally ripping you off for beer or anything. So it's, and you can get cocktails or food or anything really. The horizon chill sunset. So we're gonna take a walk up to the resort now and we're gonna loop around back to go get the bike. We're almost back at the hotel. Oh. This is how this walk is going, if you can see. <laughs> this is a really cute little cafe. The island coffee and food. And then we're actually coming up on the Chase's favorite banh mi place. Yes, it's right here. It's like a minute or two away from our <laughs> accommodation. And this is what it looks like. Yep. Tram tram, banh mi. It has a bunch of chairs. Mm. And they are so, she is so sweet. Bon me tit. Yeah, bon me tit. my favorite. Tit, beef. <laughs> <laughs> right, beef, right? What? Is that beef? Tit. No, it's meat. Mixed meat. meat. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's really nice. We're just walking up now. But this resort has kind of like a workspace that's like shaded right in the middle. So that's really nice if you work. We're going to go up to our room now. Take a breather. Got the keys to the bike. And we're room number 11, but will already be gone, so don't come and kill us. Here we are, Big Bluey. <laughs> Big Bluey, that's what you named the bike. All right, ah. we got it for 150,000 dong, which is about 650 American. And we're about to hop on it. This is our first time driving in Vietnam. Very, very exciting. I'm scared. So, the yellow, okay. yellow, yellow or for pink? Me, for yeah. sure, you have to wear the pink. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, All right. And we're gonna go to the Duong Duong town, and apparently there was like a temple there, a night market, and we're gonna see see what's up. See, see what's, what's up? There. Yeah. First time on two wheels. We had helmet malfunction, so I got this army green one now. Woo! 
And we're off. And we're off. And we're driving on the right side of the road? Yeah, we are. <laughs> just came from the left, and now we're driving on the right side, which is just like Canada. Hopefully Chase doesn't mess that up. <laughs> We've driven on the left side for so long. Yeah, Philippines was on the right. Yeah. I expected that drive to be way longer. We literally drove for like, I don't know, maybe two minutes. <laughs> and I think that it's just right here, up here. Take a left there. Okay, take a right. We're gonna take a right. Okay, yeah. Chase is taking a right. Just, just for taking rights easy. <laughs> and then we can turn around. He doesn't like taking left. He just likes taking a right, a right, and then turning around and then going left. <laughs> Hey, especially when you don't know what the hell's going on. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I felt so much better doing that. <laughs> there was a big truck honking behind us. I'm like, yeah, I'll just take the take the easy way. <laughs> this is the temple that we're coming up to that we wanted to stop at. Not go inside because I'm not dressed accordingly, but we just wanted to take we're a little peek. Wow. Yeah, and you can uh, park right on the side here. Wow. Looks like they have some bevies. I know this is going to cost money to park over, so. Yeah. Oh, they got ice cream, coffee, cool. Wow. Well, this is the cutest little area. I should have put my sunglasses on and blinded. <laughs> wow. Oh, this, is this is very nice. So nice. You have your another little beach here. Oh, that's beautiful. And then you have the temple behind you. I guess mm. I should have brought pants. It looks kind of cool, but regardless, it's a really nice spot. And I'm probably going to get the same view, hey? Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. And we got away with uh, not paying any thing for parking, so yeah. that's kind of cool. I don't know. Oh, this is so nice. People are swimming. The guy's ringing his ice cream bell. <laughs> little Vietnamese ice cream right on his bike there. That's awesome. So coming up to this temple right here, fishermen come to pray so that nothing bad happens to them when they're out at sea. Well, we're leaving Bluey right there. Feels a lot better than that mumbled yeah. mess. Yeah, it's actually pretty impressive. I should have filmed Chase driving up. <laughs> up this little ramp and... It's probably the best he's done. <laughs> Squeezing in between bikes. It's kind of, it's hard to get your bikes like in, in between other little bikes and make sure they're not hitting. Since being in Ho Chi Minh and watching and watching and watching, I've kind of gotten better with uh, handling it without the power on and you're standing off the bike and putting it in position. Oh, we're in the round boats. <laughs> Circle boats. This is like a little piece of plastic, a little pool. It's like a little kiddie, toboggan. Kiddie like pool that's something or something. We would like toboggan down the hill when I was younger. The thing really just looks like a little kid's pool. Yeah. in summertime. <laughs> We're gonna check out, I don't know, I was looking on Google reviews and it said, as I was saying before, there's a night market and yeah, I think the night market has like three different names because I was getting really confused and I think it's the Bak Dong night market, <laughs> aka it might have some other names too, but the times were also weird. It was saying like, every single open one's now. different. And then it was saying open at five, open at six. So we're just gonna go that direction and see if anything's see, happening. See if it's actually open. Yeah. <laughs> And then these things right here, we've seen a lot of people are on those things, like they're like public transit or something. I think it's a temple. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool, wow. Very tall. And if they have flowers on their cars, let us know what that means. Because we see that sometimes, where there's flowers on the front of a car. So right now we are weaving in and out of the streets and we're back to the water somehow. I'm thinking to myself that, okay, maybe there is more than one <laughs> night market because it says that we're like in the middle of a night market right now and there's absolutely no night market happening. Yeah. So... How many hours till this one opens? Is it even realistic that one's going to appear? I don't know. It says five, but like I see no sign of one. <laughs> so now the other one's saying it's like in this direction again, all the way at the other end, so... Is this a joke? Is someone playing a joke on me? They just keep getting bigger and bigger. Look at this thing. It is ridiculous. I would never. <laughs> it's huge. That's <laughs> big. I've never seen a coconut this big. This is cheaper than the last one that we had. Oh my gosh. So That's guys, absolutely insane. Yeah. I think this is where it's supposed to be. Is there a night 
night market? What time? Uh, six o'clock. And it starts, it's down here? Uh, All over. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Oh, well. Six I mean, o'clock. It's two hours, so we might not make it to the, to the night market. <laughs> we shall see, but it's crazy the fact that the streets are so barren and like, what, 20 minutes before opening, they're I... just gonna come shooting in like crazy? When, when she said that, like, oh yeah, it's all around, I'm like, are they gonna set up soon? Because like, usually you need time to like prepare and stuff, but no, maybe uh -uh. they're gonna... They all just motor in. This sign says coconut ice cream, but like, wait. <laughs> Looks like some black peppers. False advertisement. What? I'm assuming that this is maybe where they grab all of their stuff and just start setting up. Probably. A bunch of carts and stuff, so. <laughs> Probably, it looks like it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going yeah. around. I'm not gonna lie, I think we just passed at least 20 to 30 ice cream stations <laughs> or juice and smoothies. Don't you dare say that that's not allowed. <laughs> Chase is not the sweets guy, I'm the sweets girl. And I'm oh like, no, Absolutely. no, it's just hilarious. Shelby's like, oh, I just want to find a restaurant or something. I'm like, there's ice cream. Well, this there's is- some more ice cream. Yeah, I know, right? This <laughs> is seafood and more. Ooh, finally running into something. But a lot of these places, it's like no one's really around and no menus to look they at. Have, they haven't even opened up their seafood thing I yet. I know, I wonder if it's not open. <laughs> Maybe not yet. Are you open yet? Are you open? Do you have a menu? Oh, over here. Other side, okay. <laughs> Little crabs. <laughs> it's looking way more lively, like down Over here. here yeah. We're kind of in like a dead zone, but I can see up there. There's tons more people and restaurants. They might be clearing out for that night market. Well, look at this cool view. Wow. This is really cool in here. We're in front of a boat. <laughs> it's dark. It is very dark. Yeah. Look at that guy ripping. <laughs> He's late for a very important date. I think I'm going to go with the oh, garlic sauce or ginger or black pepper. Garlic. Probably garlic, hey? Garlic okay, can I get a uh, garlic sauce with chicken? Yeah. This is where we are at right now. Thank you very much. It's really nice. It's just like right on the little I don't know what this is. This is obviously like a fishing <laughs> port of to, some yeah, sort. Yeah, I wanted to call it a river, but I'm like, this is the ocean. <laughs> and there's just a bunch of fishing boats around, so it's actually really nice. We couldn't wait for the night market. So <laughs> need food now. Ooh, look how good this looks. It's so funny though, I order like a plate of vegetables with chicken and then they put like the deep fried shallots on top, which I'm like, <laughs> I don't actually love the taste of these, so I'll probably pick most of them off. But they also brought like three sauces and we tried them, it's like a fish sauce, this one's like a, I don't even know how to describe it, a salty, spicy, sweet sauce, it's delicious, and then maybe salt and pepper, lime, but yeah, perfect. I feel like the vegetables already have a sauce, so I'll try them and see how they are without the garlic shallot. Mm. Mm. Hot. Nice. The mushrooms are like, they got texture. <laughs> which I don't mind. I don't think Paige would like those, but really good. They have like a sweet sauce on the bottom. It's really smoky from the wok Very delicious. So that was absolutely delicious. We can oh, now yeah. eat. Oh, yeah. I shared. <laughs> <laughs> um, now we can see everybody starting to set up. So we had the wrong idea of where I think that night market started. Because it's kind of all along this little like fishing it's everywhere. harbor. Yeah. And now we're like, oh, okay, people are starting to set up. Still lots of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the seafood. Look at those big fish. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there. Uh, Look at those guys. <laughs> How much do you think that lobster is? Probably like $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably be at least o over a million dong. Yeah. What is it's a sea urchin? Sea urchin, yeah. We tried that. <laughs> Not the greatest, it's pretty fishy. We tried it once. There's a bunch of little shops set up here too. Yeah, it looks awesome. You can get like jewelry and little souvenirs, a bit more touristy. It's, re it's really, really coming to life now. Yeah. I think that I read online 
at about seven is when it usually really picks up and gets busy. But that's like most night markets. Yeah. Chase, that we're usually always early to the game. Yeah. Those are cool looking. I've never seen a little. Oh, Hello, Sin Chao. Cool. Sin Chao. Got rice paper mix. Yeah. Cool rice paper. Very cool. Look at this barbecue station. That looks good. <laughs> These look interesting with wow. three. Almost looks like, would they be quail eggs in there maybe? I wonder how much it is for one. <laughs> how much is this for one? <laughs> Sin Chao. Sin Chao, how much for one? 20. Should we just 20? try one? Sure. They got me super curious. I've seen them before. Yeah. Um, they look... yeah. There's just tons of seafood here. Can we have one? Can we buy one? one. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know if we sit somewhere. We, I mean, those look pretty dang hot to just grab and unless they put them put them in like a container I don't know yeah I don't know but why buy this fancy little thing in a bowl and then not get it in the bowl it just you don't get that bowl <laughs> it's all for getting you to purchase it wow all kinds of things oysters sea urchin squid mussels <laughs> is this a snail I don't know. It honestly looks so good. He's just frying them up right here. Oh man. Yeah, they're probably gonna put it in something. <laughs> what does it look like to you? Like, yeah, you're probably right, quail. Oh, some of them are bigger though. Yeah, I have no clue what's going on. Mm. <laughs> Chop up some ice cream over there. I can hear it. You guys, there's no shortage of ice cream here. No. Oh, and it comes in like a little, okay. That's a nice way of doing that. Hard to get out. <laughs> it loses all of its appearance. Whoopsie! I don't think that was supposed to happen. No. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to taste the same though. <laughs> Look at this beautiful sunny side up egg. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Just like Grace said, no, this isn't working. There you oh, go, thank sweetie. You. <laughs> It smells dang good. It smells like a little omelet. <laughs> Which that's kind of Yeah, like, that's what kind it of what it is. <laughs> so it looks like there's like a bunch of seafood in there. Like oyster or something. And then there's egg, there's shallots, there's chopped up carrots. And then it has like this nice char on the outside. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. that. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go in for... <laughs> this egg is kind of hard to bite of everything. Probably hot. Shelby's using two plastic spoons at the moment. Oh! <laughs> okay. it's, all, it's all good. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but it's not life changing. <laughs> I feel like it looks better than it tastes. Yeah. I mean, it's so good, but. It literally tastes exactly as what I said. Like it tastes like a scrambled seafood with some vegetables. And then yum, the sauce. Yum. Yeah, I don't think Chase, yeah, I don't think you're like a Chase. But the sauce is like, um, almost like a sweet. You know what it almost tastes like? Passion fruit. What the? You can let me know, but it almost tastes like passion fruit juice. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> All right, passion fruit seafood omelet mixture. I mostly just got vegetables and egg in that little bite. Heroin said, take a big, big yeah, daddy bite. Yeah, take that huge, take that, oh yeah. Hmm. It's just like, okay, I feel like. Yeah, it is what it is, it's delicious. It, I don't know if it's passion fruit, but it ha does have like a citrus zing like a, going yeah, on. Yeah, it's like a zingy. And uh, you know, yeah, seafood omelet. There you go. There you go, guys. Seafood <laughs> omelets. We're pretty much nearing the end of this little market street. Oh, that's okay. Oh. <laughs> I've left Chase behind. I thought you were going to walk with your container, but... No, I like, I like getting rid of it. Okay, he's probably going to give the garbage to the guy. That's funny. I was like, oh, Kate, okay, we're going. And nope, Chase is still back there. I do that all the time. <laughs> well, I hope you guys really enjoyed touring around food block with us if you're wondering this is another entrance to that market and i think it's a little bit more lively if you go to this entrance 
but make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of the Vietnam adventures. Goodbye, Sinto. <laughs> Almost get run over to you. See you in the next oh, one. What?